Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing another furniture flip. Uh, I purchased this dresser off of Facebook Marketplace for $10. It, structurally, it is in good condition, but cosmetically, it is in desperate need of a makeover. So that is what we're gonna be doing in today's video. So let's go ahead and get started. To start things off, I remove the drawers and remove all the hardware. At first I wanted to try to just sand the paint off of the drawers, but after trying for quite a while and it just was really slow going and wearing out my sandpaper way too quickly, the paint was just so thick it just gooped up on my sandpaper. It just was not going very well, so I decided to go ahead and attempt stripping the paint using a paint stripper, and that worked really well. So just a little fun fact about this dresser. As I stripped back the paint, I revealed this beautiful wood underneath. So I was a little unfamiliar with what kind of wood it was. So I had it checked out by an expert and he confirmed that it was made out of wormy chestnut. So in the early 1900s, a blight hit the chestnut trees and it wiped out nearly all of the mature trees. The trees were damaged by the insect, leaving holes in the wood. So the wood is pretty rare and va relatively valuable. It is usually found in old barns and in this case, old furniture. It is beautiful wood and it does have the unique wormy holes in it, which I really like. It adds a little bit of character to it. So anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. So I did that on all the drawers and also I did the entire dresser and just went ahead and stripped off that old paint. After I finished stripping it, I came back with a wire brush and just cleaned up all the remaining residue of the paint and because it kind of just gooped up so it was kind of a yucky, <laughs> yucky mess to clean up but it, it cleaned up pretty well. So I came in with a wet rag to clean everything up and get ready to start painting. So today I am using Rust-Oleum chalk paint in a charcoal color. It's really pretty paint. I had to add a little bit of water as it was pretty thick, um, but it worked out really well. So that went on pretty easily. I put two coats of the paint on. So after I finished applying two coats of the paint, I'm using this water-based polyurethane and I'm applying two coats of that to over the painted areas and also the top just for added protection. For the drawers, I'm using this stencil that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's a fun little Aztec pattern and I'm super excited. And it turned out really well. It has a nice whitewashed look and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. So it took me a little bit of time to stencil it all, but it was so worth it. So for the hardware, I'm just gonna reuse the hardware that was on it 
It was some sort of like hard plastic. So I used paint stripper and took off all the paint. I sprayed it with a spray paint primer. So I just painted them with a paintbrush. I applied several coats of that. And then afterwards I sprayed them with a clear enamel protective. just a reminder here is what the dresser looked like before and here it is now So I absolutely love how this piece turned out. Um, I really wish that I could for myself, but unfortunately I don't have room. Um, it is a complete transformation from what it used to be. I absolutely am so excited with it. It was a lot of work. I have about three full days of work in this piece. It was a ton of work, but I absolutely love how it turned out. So let's talk numbers real quick. I spent $10 to purchase the piece, and I have about roughly $5 in materials between paint, the sealer, and sandpaper. Um, so it's about $15 all in and I'm hoping to list this piece at about $200. We'll see if I can get it. I'm going to test my market. I haven't priced anything that high before but this is a really nice solid wood antique piece and it is one of a kind. So I am curious to see if I can get that much for it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and if you could, give this video a big thumbs up and we will see you guys in the next video.